is on. All right. I guess you guys get the announcement that recording is on, just like I do. Yes. All right. I gotta make it so that the um, oh, I guess it doesn't show me if I'm talking, which which actually makes sense. Um, I wonder if it shows me on the recording though. Um, I don't know that it really that really matters all that much. Um, occasionally we do have visual aid, so it's it's nice to have the video. But um, so uh, for anybody watching, I think uh, Sam and Mark know this, but uh, today we are talking about net labels. Actually, by the time you watch this, that'll be in the title on YouTube. So uh, you probably know that too. Um, I have to go in. Well, I don't have to like turn off my computer um, if we get you know, a good conversation going. Uh, but I have to go pick up some stuff um, right in about 50 minutes or so. So, um, yeah, um, hopefully Mark gets his, his mic uh, working or it might just be me and Sam here. Um, you are like the, the net label guy, um, Sam. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you, in my world anyway. So um, maybe you could uh, just talk a bit about what net labels are and what you like about them. Well, to me, um, net labels are online only music labels that release music for free. Um, and it seems that most use some kind of CC license and some also have physical labels, um, but, and yeah, so I first discovered them in late 2010 when I Google searched free music, and yeah, it's been an interesting rabbit hole that I've sucked myself into. Um, so yeah, I, Mentioned, I've mentioned them in previous chats, so I'm not really sure what there much else there is to say about them. But um, coming up in July, on July 14th, is Net Label Day. Yeah. Um, do you know if they have like a new site? Because um, you know the netlabel.blogspot.com still says Happy Net Label Day 2019 on it. I don't know if they just. Well, honestly, it seems that. They might just be fashionably late, <laughs> um, because I think like last year, like a few weeks before it, it happened. It probably said like Happy Net Label Day 2018 or something. Yeah. So, um, but I did see uh, a post a few months ago saying that it's definitely still happening. Oh, um, so, on Twitter or something. Yeah. Yeah, they um. I noticed that uh. Well, maybe maybe last year these were um were still active. Um, but like Happy Pup Puppy Records doesn't exist anymore. They're still listed on um Net Label Day. Um, but speaking of Happy Puppy, I did um I did email Lee. Um, I don't know if you're if you know Lee Rosevere, but he used to run. Happy Puppy. Um, I recognize yeah. the name. Yeah, so uh, Lee Lee puts out um, Creative Commons music. Uh, he's he was interviewed at least once on um, on Music Management. Um, but uh, but yeah, he doesn't he doesn't do um, doesn't do uh, Happy Puppy anymore. Yeah, so um, he might have. He was one of the last um, interviews on. I think he was on before that, but he was one of the um, the last interviews on. Oh, actually, he was the very last um, interview on Music Management. <laughs> uh, there's a link for anybody that uh, is curious about Lee, but. Um, yeah, I had he had said he might um, he might be able to make it, and you know maybe he'll talk about like kind of the changing landscape. Um, I mean, I think you know now, particularly with Bandcamp, um, that I, that scene has changed a lot, um, and like I guess Big Cartel is part of that too because now 
I think it's much easier for labels to have some sort of physical um, merchandise as well. Um, Seems so, that a lot of musicians just go in expecting to make money or something. Like even if they only have like a hundred likes in their Facebook page, they like still charge for their albums and stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, and there's uh, that's definitely part of the whole free thing with the, with the net labels. Um, of course, like everything is online in some respect um, these days, but. Um, Seems that Mark left the call. Uh, yeah, maybe he um, needs a reboot to get his uh, his um, mic working. Is your mic working now, Mark? Oh, that's a bummer. Where are uh, Beth and Ben? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Beth didn't respond to the... Um, to the uh, Father's Day music Facebook thing. Um, I don't know when her last uh, her last post was in the um, in the group. I knew this week would be short, you know, or like a little lighter on attendance because. Uh, Oh, Victor messaged me and said he he was moving today, so um, he um, he wasn't gonna you know like he was tired from like okay. lifting stuff and stuff. So um, yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think Beth Beth didn't vote this week, so yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, we could always uh, just call it and try to have a discussion with more people. Um, you know, a different week when uh, Victor, you know, isn't moving and it's not Father's Day. Um, that's certainly fine. It would be kind of me. cool to actually get more people with Night Label experience. Um, like I yeah. noticed that when you tweeted out the links to this thing, you tagged Klong Klong Moo. Yeah. But did you ever get a response from them? I did not, at least. Uh, I don't check Twitter super often, but um, but yeah, no, I haven't gotten anything. I mean, it kind of depends. Like, if I post something and I kind of like, I'm expecting a response. Perhaps I'll check, but um, yeah, I haven't. Um, well, Mark, um, I mean, your your audio is not not working. So, do you want to put your thoughts in the the chat? Um. Saves me some time to just say next week we're going to do net labels. <laughs> we don't have to do a vote. <laughs> yeah. Does Mike from Block Sonic have any interest in these? Things? I messaged him, um, you know, telling him this would be a good a good week um, to uh, to come if he wanted. Um, but I think uh, you know he's getting ready for net label day probably and. Um, the the whole like there's been um with record store day doing their thing you know like there's been some like extra work mm -hmm. regarding that and everything and um we've had a we've had a lot of releases recently too um so i think that um oh and actually i don't know if um if you saw this but um he actually um released something um like it like his own work um on i guess it was friday um oh. so i don't know if he's got how much of that he it's, it's actually that might not be the right link says you turned off your camera it says i turned off my camera yeah that's weird oh maybe i clicked in like the wrong spot Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so this is he did some remixing of this uh, Donkey Sun. Um, I don't know if this is actually the post of 
Okay, so it's the debut single. I'm just gonna click on it because I don't think this post is. Okay, right, so he got he 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 did the track four remix. So it's not like a full remix, but um, Donkey Sun has a um a new album coming out. Um, oh, and um, Mike had some problems with um. I don't think he posted about this, um. But um, I don't know if either of you saw, but we had a, a day where, um, not so long, June 12th, where we released three things. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> um, what happened was that um, Mike had some sort of, you know what, I don't, I don't remember all the details, um, but he had some sort of like hardware software issue that kept him from doing the releases. And so the ones that he had scheduled um before he just released them all um the same day is my my understanding um i know we had some issues and some releases got skipped so um maybe maybe he'll say that i, I got the got it a little bit wrong but you know we've had releases like every friday for like the last million years so um he, he's staying busy so i think i think that's just pretty like, constant yeah, it seems that yeah. a live net label is only released like three or four albums a year, but Black yeah. Sun keeps churning them out, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, part of that is just uh, the artist. You know, it's like um, so Gregory, the silent partner, who um, he was here um, for one of them. Yeah, um, he, uh, you know, he he's putting stuff out like all the time um and so you know that make and then i think uh cheese and potsy um you know those guys are doing stuff if not together you know like i mean of course um you know there's the block report but uh yeah it seems like those guys stay busy too so um but yeah i mean i don't know i'm sure some of the um musicians do their own artwork i don't know exactly you know how much of that he does but um yeah he's a busy dude so um but yeah maybe if we do it again next week and it's not father's day maybe he'll um he'll um decide to uh to come out so yeah but, um oh yeah to get all three so um i think that's what we'll do um are you going to be able to make it next week mark Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and call it. I'll go ahead and put this out as sort of like a teaser for next week because I mean, I you know we did talk a little bit about get excited um, for next week, yo. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right, guys. Uh, well, Sam, uh, enjoy the rest of uh, Father's Day. Um, and are you your cat dad? Um, my brother and I have one cat. Um, ah, there you go. But yeah, my mom has the rest of the cats. <laughs> so. Um, and then um uh, next time mark said he's gonna use a different uh sound device it would be nice if uh the video would record the sidebar of the chat too i think that would be cool um but it doesn't so yeah uh, that happens for twitch streams sometimes yeah yeah um yeah i mean i could record the screen you know just like put the browser in full screen mode and record the screen um but um i don't know this this seems to to work and i think um you know a lot of people were not super happy with zoom and uh i think i think jitsi um solves some problems or some anxiety around zoom at least so um unless uh you know it seems to work it worked for um for victor last week and you know it works internationally and stuff so I think we'll just stick with it just, just despite it not being absolutely perfect <laughs> all right guys uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh turn this off and uh we'll reconvene next week all right all right later guys